Hello everyone, a quick correction about uh, this biasing potentials that we need to apply at the collector to base junction as it moves from the active region uh, to the saturation. We discussed that in detail. Um, however, here's a quick thing. Uh, I, I guess some of you were confused about um, whether it's a VBC or a VCB and we have been changing these potential voltages alternatively. So one thing I think very quick thing that you should remember is that VBC equals minus VCB, right? Okay, so as an example, let's see that we have an NPN transistor, we have an emitter base collector, right? And in order to forward bias, and let's assume the collector to base junction P and junction to follow this model, I, V, and let's assume this to be 0.4 volts. And if our diode will P and junction diode, P and junction will follow this model, then we can see that in order to forward bias this P and junction, I can apply a biasing potential VBC greater or equal to 0.4 volts to forward bias this junction. Or I can, if my potential is less than 0.4 volts, this the junction will be reverse biased. Alternatively, I can use, I can write this equation so alternatively as if it will I if I will apply a collector to base voltage that is less than minus 0.4 volts. This means that my junction will be forward biased. And if I will apply a collector to base voltage that is greater than minus 0.4 volts this means that my junction is reverse biased again over here our reverse bias condition will be true for the active region of operation and our forward bias condition will be true for the saturation region of operation okay um, so I hope that this will clear up the confusions uh, about this biasing potentials. Um, so again, it's a it's a very simple concept. Uh, you have a diode here, PN junction diode, which is a which represents over here a collector to base junction diode. Uh, it will start to conduct at 0.4 volts. Here's a more exponential model. You can also make it into a uh, kind of a constant voltage drop model as well. And since it's an NPN transistor over here, right, where our uh, base is P-type and our collector is N-type, so in order to forward bias this, our P-type material should be at least at a 0.4 volts higher potential as compared to the collector to forward biases. So we have this, right, uh, as it, if it will be less than that, it will be reverse biased. Similarly, if we will just consider this equation uh, where VBC is minus VCB, then we can come up with this equations where our collector to base voltage, if our collector to base voltage uh, is less than minus 0.4 volts, it will be forward biased. And when the collector to base voltage is greater than minus 0.4 volt, it will be reverse biased. And these are the uh, active and the saturation modes of operation. Uh, in the lectures and in the book, you're gonna come across these potentials by writing VCB and VBC alternatively, and I hope that uh, this thing will this um, short video would help uh, clarify this uh, this confusion. All right, thank you so much. Bye bye.